you'd like to set up an invoice and send it to a client to pay you. In Sprout, you create an order with order line items, each with a quantity and a price per item, and then each order has an invoice or multiple invoices if you've chosen to use a payment schedule for the order and it breaks out the total amount. Let's go ahead and create a new order in Sprout right now. First, you're going to click the overview button here and then click orders and quotes. Click the add new button up here and then click add order. We can optionally give the order a name. And the next step in, in order to get started adding items to our order, we have to choose a price list. And from here, we're basically going to add the items one by one and each time specifying the quantity and the price per item. So we'll click add item here and we can choose anything from our price list here or create a new custom item. Now you can optionally override the subtotal here if you don't want to just go with the standard um, addition of these two items here. You can also override the shipping. You can specify a shipping method if you need to. And then all of that comes to with your tax, the total amount that you have at the bottom. Now down at the bottom here under payments, you can choose to have the invoices created. So this is now where you can choose, do you want the entire amount due now, the minute that you press that you're done and this order is now published? Do you want to have the invoice created so that it's due in a certain amount of time, maybe in a week or in a couple of days, or do you want to have a payment schedule? So if we choose payment schedule, I can create a new one right now, or I can just uh, choose one that I've got in my settings here as a template payment schedule. I'm going to go ahead and choose that one there. Up in the top right here, we're going to start walking through all of the settings. We have client details right here. This is where you can choose who's the billing contact who is the shipping contact, and is this attached to a lead, a shoot, or a gallery? I'm gonna go ahead and just choose one of my billing contacts here, and I'm gonna leave everything else alone. I'll close client details here, and then I'm gonna go up into settings here just to show a couple of things. Number one, you can switch this over to be a quote. You can also edit the payment methods here. These are gonna choose your defaults, so um, your default payment methods that you've chosen in settings, and then you can have your tax here and you can override it, and then whether or not you want to show this on the account statement. Go ahead and click close here. And otherwise, now when I click done editing, the order will be sort of baked in, it'll be processed, and then it'll now create those invoices for your client to pay. And you can see now if I had only had one invoice, so due in X number of days, it would only have one invoice, but in this case, we used a payment schedule, so there are four invoices that are created. So for each one of these invoices, you can click that, you can email it, you can change the due date, or you can click view and see what it looks like on the front end from your client's perspective. Now, if you need to add a payment manually, you can always click up here under add payment, and then you can choose the date, the payment method, how much was paid, and then also optionally add notes as well. One of the most useful parts of Sprout is the automation that you can build into everything that you do. And you'll see this Sprout Assistant section down here in a lot of areas in Sprout. I'm just gonna open it up and show you all the things that are gonna happen automatically for this order. Reminders for invoices being due, or reminders after something is paid, or follow-ups if the client says that they're gonna pay with an offline method but haven't actually paid you. This is all configured in settings. Of course, you can override it here for this specific order if you'd like to. If you don't want this to go out for this order, you just uncheck it. Or if you want more of them to go out, you can just click plus and add more reminders. But the best practice is to set this up once in settings and then never have to worry about it again. And so that is how you set up an order and create invoices in Sprout so your clients can pay you.